was easy, uh, and we were thinking, and we think, ah, it's easy. Then the next one was a little bit more mm. difficult, and then the next one was very difficult for some <laughs> of us, you know? So there was uh, increasing complexity. That's a good thing. Now, not every student can, can reach that. Okay, but that's still, you have to do this for the uh, superior students. You want them to have the opportunity to do extra. But the average student should be able to do the basic concept. And I think that was, that was there. I thought that your classroom climate, do you know this word? Yeah. Climate. Yeah. Classroom yeah. climate. Something like weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a bit like the weather. The classroom <laughs> weather or the classroom climate was comfortable. Mm -hmm. You were positive. Like what? Uh, and warm? But even when people, when we were wrong, we were supportive. Yeah? Yes. Mm. He didn't say, no, that's wrong, you have to do this. He did two things. First he said, yeah, that's okay, but maybe you need to look at, he gave yeah. extra cues, extra points for us to solve the problem. He did not give the answer. Okay, so that was important. Yeah, there was a good one. Um, uh, there was a good one there where I think they hadn't got it quite right. They actually had the right number of yeah. They had the right number of um, atoms, yeah. or of molecules, but they had the wrong connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I liked with Christian was he said, "Is this right?" Yes. He didn't right. just say, "Oh, that's wrong." He said, "Is this right?" And then as, and he's saying, "Yes, there's one co one molecule here, one atom there." Ah, oh, no, there should be two joints. <coughs> and that was very, so, so instead of just saying you're wrong, that was, that I really liked that, where you, you teased it out of them. You said, is this, is this quite right? And then they, re oh no, no, it isn't. That was so, sorry, it was just, you know, that, you might not have seen that one. You, uh, so you mean give a uh, positive response? He gave a positive, no, he just said to them, they said, is this, you know, they said, oh, we've got it right. Okay? And instead of saying it's not wrong, or it's not right, or it's not wrong, he just said, what do you think? Is it right? Oh. And Explain to me why. And then they looked at it again. Uh -huh. And then they went, oh, no, I realize. <coughs> so in other words, they actually learned that they'd done it wrong. It wasn't Christian telling them they'd done it wrong. They realized they'd done it wrong, and therefore they knew how to put it right. That was, I'm just saying, that was a really good, um, you know, that was a really good thing. Okay. The, um, also, I thought this high-tech and low-tech was interesting. The high-tech was the projector, the computer, maybe internet, you know. The low tech, low technology was the was these. Yeah. And I think that's wonderful. Right. Often the low tech is better than the high tech. Mm -hmm. So do not be worried if you do not have a lot of computers or a data projector. Low tech is often a powerful tool. Pieces of paper, balls, sticks, you know, stones, any of these, small yeah. rocks can be a very powerful teaching aid. Low tech, easy to find and cheap. So don't forget the low tech. I think it's a very useful yeah. thing. And often it's more creative and more relevant uh, for the students. So I thought that was an interesting, uh, an interesting point. Um, other things I think you have said. Uh, I liked also that your criteria, you had marks. Also, A, B, you know, A, B, C, and so on. But he also has marks. I think that's important. Okay. Very important to have marks with the criteria because it makes your job easy later when you have to assess yeah. the students for the whole semester. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier because if you have A, B, C minus, A plus, you know, <laughs> and this is all for Christian, yeah? The mean is what? How do you do it? It's impossible. So marks is what you have. Okay. You have a grade like this at the end of the course or the end of that theme or unit. Marks are better. Uh, confident, supportive. Uh, Yes, you make some personal contribution. Remember I talked yesterday about if you want the students to be more active, tell them something about yourself, about your own experience. You did this a couple, back two times. He gave some experience from himself. So the student can say, <coughs> it was also relevant for him. 
he's not teaching this just because it's in the curriculum. Also, it's relevant for him, so this is contribution. I thought it was good. Um, a couple of times, a uh, recommendation. A couple of times, you had an answer, yeah? And you were not acknowledging, you were coming over here a lot, yeah. to this area here, and asking, and, and you know, picking the answer. And these four guys, I think, sometimes were missing when they were quick with the answer. Yeah. So, you know, you, it's good to spread it, say, yes, I know that you have a good answer, but not yet from an answer from this person. Yeah. And then come back. What was your answer? Okay. So, making sure that you involve everybody. Just a small point for you. Um, now, you, you guys were talking uh, in the lesson uh, between yourselves when you <coughs> were talking. So there was teacher talk and student talk at the same time. Now, is that a problem? It can be. It can be. But what were the students talking about? Gossiping. No, they weren't gossiping. What were they talking about? They were talking about the problem. So it was kind of good talk. It was good talk. So I thought it's worth mentioning. If you have teacher talk and student talk at the same time, that can be a problem. But if it is good talk, it's, it's about the lesson, then that doesn't worry. In fact, that's a good thing. And the last point is something that... Um, Bill was saying, is when you need, oh sorry, Bill. Oh, no, no, sorry, I'll do it again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, <coughs> correction. <coughs> correction. When you have to correct the students, when the students are doing something wrong, the problem, or maybe behavior, okay, if the students are doing something that you don't like, yeah. right, correction, there is a, a kind of scale, one to ten that you can think about. And the first point on the scale is do nothing. <coughs> Look at them. Or stop. And they have to correct themselves. Okay? If they're talking or their behavior is not good, not attending, first thing is do nothing or just stop or look at them. 